What has he texted me? I have a lot of issues. If I could put them on my hands, I don't always know when I'm being attacked. I don't always know when I'm being loved. He said he didn't need any more friends, male or female. He wasn't suffering from ennui, but was lonely. I think he once texted that he was looking for a good woman. It must have been the way I used my broom, the way I dragged the trash to the middle, the way I collected the copper wire, twisting it together and setting it aside. I text him, what exactly are you lonely for? He has not texted me back and I have not called because I want to know if he's lonely for a good woman who just eight weeks ago was on a 5150. That's 72 hours that turned into 96 because Casey took my water and flashed me. I only want to text that. Are you lonely for a good woman with ADD? You're speaking and yeah, I only want to text that. A sister once said about this good woman that my late relationships are synonymous with paper aircrafts. A brother said it was like transport exploration. I'm not going to argue but agree, so let this come from me. Are you lonely for a woman that can love you like this, but not like that? A good woman whose eyes didn't look at you sexually, but intellectually, discovering all your possibilities that didn't end up in her bed. Are you lonely for a woman that is directionally challenging? A woman with a prosperity? Oh, let me do that one again. A woman who is directionally challenged, a woman with a propensity to wander but is seldom feeling lost. He texts me. When you make up your mind, call me. Don't text. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I think I have time for one more. This is from my book, Last Night at the Shelter, too. Queen and, I, Queen and I were the opposites of the same girl. I wanted what she had, and she only wanted some of what I had. I wanted her body, mine that of a dancer, white men like my body, non shay my preference, brothers. Queen's body's a brick house and a half. She gets the intentions of brothers. She wanted my skin color, the color of honey tempting the sun and turned golden from a kiss. I didn't relate to my queen, and she has not realized it's a constant reminder of past rapes. While her mocha professes generations and generations of free men, last name Otto, kings, mine that of a slave master, Queen wanted my hair for its length, texture, and variability of pattern, straight and wool. Queen's hair was only wool. She has cut it to the scalp. She felt it was a problem. She is my queen for similar actions without common detail or relation. An invitation from Mr. 3000. My queen wore the style to, similar to Lapita. She looked beautiful me. I tell her she has the face for it, a natural beauty, a shine to the lips, a shape of the eyebrows, she's done. Mr. 3000 was taken by, back by her appearance. She had not told him of such changes. He's too quiet. The girl to his left holds back laughs. Throwing shade, my queen was hurt. What had been so natural now was not. What was beautiful, ugly. We exit the party. My counsel to my queen. Did you look at her? Her hair not her, not her own, her face completely painted, her bra padded, and her character in question. I look at my queen and into her eyes and with my heart, I tell her, I'm going to go tell those bitches you came, came to the party naked. Smiles, she's my queen again. Thank you.